The process of officially naming cyclones started in the West Pacific in 1945, which gave typhoons all female names. The Eastern Pacific, Atlantic, and all other basins caught on and gave these ferocious storms their all too familiar names. And today, we're gonna look at some of the shit ones, mainly in the Atlantic, cause America. Fuck yeah! Now, Atlantic naming came about in 1950 when the names of the storms were from the former Navy phonetic alphabet Abel, Baker, Charlie, etc. You can look it up on Wikipedia. I'm not educational. I'm funny! No, wait, no, I'm not. Depression, where are you in this recording? I don't like you, I'm taking a break. But, twas not to be. Because in 1953, hey, that rhymed, we switched to all female naming, and the first human name was given to an Atlantic hurricane Alice. How terrifying. You know, I can kind of excuse it due to it being 1953 and the top names were Mary, Linda, Deborah, Karen. But it's not easy to find these names threatening. I mean, except Karen. Like, look at this. Barbara, Carol, Dolly. Yeah, Dolly is not a scary name. Unless you count the clone sheep, but how do you make it scary? Meh. Nah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, the rest weren't any better. Gale, Hazel, and some unused ones like Mabel, Patsy, Susie, Tina, Wallace. Wallace. I mean, we can get rid of Wallace Simpson, but no one names something like that except if you're going for a masculine one with A C E at the end. Not even Wensleydale. Yeah, I know I'm nitpicking, and you're probably thinking, Cheryl. No one cares about this, so why are you even talking about this? Well, that's a good question. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I like hurricanes and I like popular names, and I'm just running on fumes. I'm, 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 I'm. F <coughs> Thank God they didn't have a hurricane, Cheryl. And nothing really got better. You know, they retired some names here and there, and that's when they uh, remove a name from the lists after a very bad hurricane. And they retired the first three in 1954: Carol, Edna, and Hazel. Uh, no, not my Carol and Hazel and Edna. Mm. And that wasn't the only list. In 1955, they got more lists with more names, like Beulah, Dora, Ethel, Gracie, and Flashy. And the names that were barely or never used weren't any better. Judith, Kitty, Queenie, Rhoda, Sadie, Winnie, Zasu? The bird from Lion King? Are they, are they even trying anymore? Like, why? Well, as it turns out, they weren't. These names were not threatening, and they were thrown out because people didn't listen. Like Connie, Janet, and Audrey. Yeah, they got a lot of people. Yeah, and the 60s didn't fare much better. We got names like Betsy, Hattie, Donna, Cleo, Isbel, what? And Fifi. And some names that were actually a little bit threatening, like Inez and Camille, did cause a lot of deaths. So, I guess they lived up to that high, high bar. But those were the incredible exception. And most names that were retired were very lame. But fear not, here comes the 70s, and things kinda got worse. Hey Cheryl, that's a little bit depressing. Ooh, you wanna see depressing? Come over to my brain. And in that decade, a lot of women's rights movements were going on. Hell yeah. And uh, we kinda realized Hey, um, I think these, uh, might be a little bit sexist, you know, naming, uh, raging tempests after women. And so, equality was born, and we implemented a male and female list in 1979. And the East Pacific was a year ahead of us. So in the meantime, names like Agnes, Bell, Becky, and Eloise were free to roam. Some names were alright, like Amy and Carmen, but Eloise and Fifi were, like, the big whoppers. Fifi caused 8,000 deaths alone! R.I.P. Fernando, killed by Fifi. And 1979 was a liberating year. No more all-female list, and a new era for terrifying name was to come. And they were right. 1979 gave us names like David, Elena, and Frederick, but it also gave us Bob and Larry. So, you're 50% right. At least they didn't throw tomatoes at us. And names like David and Frederick had a right to be scary, as they were both retired and replaced with Danny and Fabian. And that's how our current six-year rotating list was in play. And did everything turn out all right? No. We have more video. I'm not wasting my three views. 1980 gave us Alan, Mitch, George, and Hermine. But it also gave us Bonnie, Paula, Lisa, and Richard. 
Hurricane Dickens was a great novelist, I must say. About 81. Gave us Dennis, Jose, and Katrina. I like those names. But what about Floyd, Gert, Lenny, Nate, and Tammy? Uh... Well, let's look at 82. Alberto, Ernesto, Joan, Keith, and Oscar. Uh, yeah. But take a look at these. Beryl, Debbie, Gilbert, Leslie, Sandy, Tony, Valerie, and William. Uh, uh, st stop, stop, 83. Alicia, Felix, Hugo, Luis, Roxanne. Uh, um. But who's to forget? Barry, Karen, Marilyn, Noel, Opal, Tanya, and Wendy. Cheryl, stop! I'm not finished yet! One more! One more! Alright. Caesar, Gustav, Hortense, Klaus, Marco, Vicky. Uh, they're. They're fine. They're. They're fine. But what about Bertha, Fran, Nana, Paloma, Sally, Teddy, and Wilfred? I, I get your. I get your point. Good. Cause that's the end of the video. You know, our current naming system hasn't really changed except for some retirements like Katrina, Andrew, Ivan, and Rita. And our current system, as of 2020, is like this. Some duds, some loves, and the 2020 season is predicted to be a shit show, so... Yeah, hide in your basement, there's no hope for anyone. Now put on your mask and noose and wait it out until the new year. I'm not dying in Hurricane Nana.